any score predictions? I say like uh, four one Albert. No, no. Remember, Albert is too old. He's blind. He's coming out of retirement multiple times. Yeah, but he still plays. <laughs> yeah, he does. No matter what he says. Yeah. Hey, Zammer. Still quiet. Let me make sure his stuff is turned all the way up. Okay, try that one. Rudy is naturally quiet. He's not as loud as I am. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty monotone as well. Yeah, and I'm not. My, my girl's <laughs> like, you mumble that. I'm like, you need a hearing aid. 4-2 Albert. I say 4-1, 4-2. So where's everybody tuning in from? What state? A Michael Jordan documentary is huh? funny. Rudy mumbles. <laughs> <laughs> My girl tells me that too. She's like, you mumble a lot. I'm like, all right, I guess so. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't want to swallow the mic. Like, right next to my lip. Yeah, that's what I, I do roughly. Just put it right there. I try to get it where it's just not touching. Iowa, Great North, Texas. All right. Hey, Leo. California, nice. We do have one from, yep, is from Singapore. Tennessee, nice. The poker players are here. Kind of like just uh, shooting the one into the side and just blasting that four ball, trying to get a row. He's kind of in a bad spot here. I think the four will go. What? Does it? I'm not sure. It must if he's shooting at it. Well, that wasn't because it couldn't go. That was just yeah. how he hit it. Let's see. We got Alberta. Hey, Dave. Yeah, he actually hasn't been wearing a mask for a while. Yeah, like, it's crazy with the whole COVID thing. Like, it's, like, almost non-existent now. Yeah, well, it's starting to come back as a new thing now. Some places are. Here, right. it's, it is what it is. Uh, check at the bar. Okay, sorry, we had a big crowd come in behind us. I think I'll just make the four ball and just play safe like that. That's a good shot. You got to jump the one ball here. Try to make it in the side. You think really only shot. one ball? Yeah, I'll jump it. Which we do know he does jump. Never saw him jump for the longest time. He always kicked at everything. But right. He does jump. I think most traditional players they kick at everything. They kick at everything. And they all use like the pro or triangle tips. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> They're like, what's the movie super saw? What is that? 
Yeah. Uh, Lav is asking, what's your favorite drink? Uh, you know, I like a good scotch, like a 12, 15, 20-year reserve with ice. Nice big ice cube. But generally, I drink like Del Secchi's. And the soda is Big Red. It's big Red Soda. If you're well, we know, soda. Uh, you know the Big Red and Barbacoa is coming yeah. up soon. Oh, we've got a little row here. Think you pull the jump cue out again? Yeah, you almost have to. He's shaking his head like, yeah. like you don't want to, but All right. Glen Levin Scotch. Yeah, Glen Levin's good. Glen Fetich. I even like Jameson. Not bad. He hit it. Wow, look where he left them, frozen on the rail. He would almost have to shoot that 15 in the pocket, because this is jiggy. Uh, I've never heard of that 15-year. See, that's why I didn't like shooting that 14 ball. They're both frozen. And if I drink a scotch, I got to be in, like, a nice suit. Not a suit, but just a nice uh, button down or yeah. nice jacket, black, fully dressed, so I can feel the part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm watching the people that just came in. Stephanie saw them try to walk to the tables without getting their IDs checked, so she's going after them. <laughs> yeah, we're getting that, that Saturday night crowd. The Saturday night crowd, what they said, we've never been here before. What do we do? It's like you go to the bar and show them your IDs. All oh, right. you got to have your ID? Yes. You've got to prove that you're legal to be in here. For real. Mm, 13 to the 14, probably. I'll go two rails out. Yeah. Because that happens right there. You're welcome, Leo. I like going two rails out and make sure I had a shot on either the 12 or the 13. But you can tie these balls up. Nice shot. You gonna go in the side or are you gonna go all the way down? I would go all the way down just because it's you can stroke it and you don't really gotta worry about holding the ball or getting behind the eight, something goofy. Just let happening. it roll a little bit. I have to worry about a ball skidding or something. I kind of kind of force pop it out. Really, kind of hit it pretty. Like, you know, out of a 10, maybe six and a half out of a 10, just kind of bounce it out. Yeah. Anywhere, just as long as you don't miss the ball. Are you shot on the side? See, that's, that's why I'm shooting the side. This is goofy. This is goofy too because you got to hit it really good. Yeah, hit it good. I think he'll probably play the eight in the side as well. Oh. Knob Creek, 100 proof. Damn. Knob Creek, good. I like 40 Creek, too. All right, uh, Albert's up 1-0. They're moving the the gyms. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Special guest commentary. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really enjoy watching pool. Like, I'm always in the box. 
I'm always playing. I'm always yeah. in the box, gambling, competing, tournaments. And I never just get to be a spectator. And I'm a fan of the game, so I enjoy watching. And well, usually w- you're you know you make it to the finals or you're towards the end. You're sitting there for long periods mm-hmm. of time, and you just kind of. In my case, I don't want to watch other people shoot because I think it messes with my game. Right. If right, I'm right. In, in the tournament. Right. Right. Now, if I'm not playing, yeah, sitting back watching, you know. Yeah, normally if I'm like I'm, if I'm watching, I'm just trying to get a good feel for the tables and how they're rolling, kind of scouting as well. Yeah. Now, do you look at the bracket? Well, um, I, I do. I look at the bracket when I first start to see what the uh, kind of who I'm on to play, and mm-hmm. see how far I'm supposed to get. So I'm like, oh, okay, I play these three <laughs> how guys far you're first. Supposed to get? No, you're supposed to get to the finals. <laughs> well, yeah, but if like, if I have like, no offense to anybody, but if I don't feel if I don't feel threatened by like the first three matches, I'm like, all right, I should be in the third round, like, yeah. no problem. No, but that's you. you, you then, you're looking. You know, it's like you look three shots in right. a, a row. I mean, three shots ahead in pool. Right. You look three matches in line. Yeah, it's like, and, okay, and hey. I'm like, I'm favored. I should yeah. be at least in the third round. And then that's where right. it starts getting, you know, down to the nitty gritty. And I kind of stop looking at the bracket at, you at that point. You can kind of find your groove, your stroke and everything in those right. games. Right. But, yeah, I do look at the bracket here and there. Big events, I really don't, like, touch it open and stuff like that. I mean. You can't. You got to. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm playing Nefer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're, you're playing Nefer. <laughs> I'm playing Nefer. What a surprise. Yeah, it's like uh, a friend of mine, uh, David Sanders, up up lives up in Round Rock. He hangs out at Skinny Bob's all the time. He got stuck with SVB in the first round. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Out of all the draw, right, you get SVB. I played a tournament in Houston. Uh, hey, G Blues. <laughs> well, I was playing. Uh, I was playing uh, James Aranas. Yeah, and we're it, we're. I'm in the final, like, I think, like, the final eight in the winner's side, and it's 4-4. Four, four. We're just both breaking and running, breaking and running. Then a tornado comes, and we oh, have shit. to stop the whole tournament, and everybody's, like, getting under tables, and <laughs> the cars are shaking, and the trees are, like, bending over. And, I, dude, I couldn't make a ball after that. <laughs> and then and then I played uh, Chang Jun Lin in the, in the B side. Yeah. And uh, he was the number one player in the world at the time, and... My girl called my ex and calls me, and she's like, the dog just got out. The dog is gone. I'm like, what? Where, how'd you lose my dog? You know, I'm like <laughs> playing Chang Julian, the number one player in the world, and now you're talking about get home. The dog's gone. Oh, I'm like, geez. oh, my God. I, I got sharked there, too, and I lost. Yeah. But, you know, there's you know, tur- tournaments that are memorable like that that, you, you know, you never forget. Well, see, one thing, a lot of them, like the better players – Y'all can consider this as a job. You know, y'all, y'all are trying to get, y'all can have the capability of getting into the money and having pretty good paydays. Mm-hmm. So you don't mess with someone when they're at work. Right. You know, unless right, it's an absolute sure. emergency emergency. Right. Yeah. And, a, you know, a tornado I could see. <laughs> it was crazy. And they're like, the, sc- the sky is turning green and gray. And I'm like, what? And then, like, Everybody's outside. Everybody was outside. Johan or Kulu, Bustamante. Mm-hmm. Everybody was there. Roberto Gomez, Joan Chua. And everybody's like outside. And then, like at a distance, you see all these sparks, like the electricity line, the power line. Yeah. Everybody's like, get inside. Everybody starts running inside. <laughs> and then it starts happening. But it was an F1. It was a baby one. Oh, baby. And then one. at Bogies, they have all the glass windows. Yes. Dude, I thought we were going to be sucked out. I thought I was like, this is it. I'm, nah, you I, get I'm like, I'm, I said, if I go, I'm going under a diamond. <laughs> yes. I'm leaving with a diamond. So I, I got under a diamond. I'm like, I'm getting under a diamond. That'll work. I'm well, like, I'm least, leaving on the uh, diamond with the diamond Lisa, food table. Until you played me. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know Lisa should have had me the last time. She was, she was being too nice to me. She had her chances. She was being too nice. <laughs> Oh, man. So you got good stories. But you used to travel playing a lot. Yeah, I did. Ouch. Oh, I need the big screen back up. 
I'm blind. I like eight ball. I mean, I don't really play it that much, but I like it. I prefer one pocket. Yeah. But, and I barely play rotation, but. Yeah, but you're good at it. I like eight ball, though. It's, it's a little bit easier because you can get out of line and then get back well, in line. See, people don't understand this is an eight ball town because all of the players play league. Mm -hmm. The majority of the players in this town play league, so they all want to play eight ball. Yeah, and if you notice my style of play, it's like one pocket eight ball. Yeah. It's like I won't run out like. Oh, you, you, position, two, you position. You position everything. Yeah, I reposition balls and be more strategic. So here's a big tip on playing good eight ball. So there's like seven soldiers each, solids and stripes. Whoever has the most soldiers on the table at the end is favored. So I'll elaborate on that. So if you make three solids, then you have four soldiers left. Because you have four balls left. So if they were to go to war, Stripes has seven soldiers and Solids has four soldiers. Who's supposed to win in a gunfight? Seven soldiers. So it's kind of like that. You just kind of reposition balls. It's an analogy. Just it's, it's, always an, it's always an advantage to have more options, basically. So basically, you got more safety options. Because you can you reposition can balls. And it's just, it's just like you are going to war. They all have the same amount of guns, same amount of soldiers. Whoever has the less soldiers is going to lose. So it's actually an advantage to have more balls on the table. That's where it comes down to, they say, don't run it out unless you know you can run it right, out. Right, right, right. So I'll try to, like, establish a set, whether solids or stripes, make one or two balls and maybe preferably tie something up mm -hmm. and then let them run out. And then I just reposition and then I'll run out when the time is right. Okay. Like keep hooking them or... Even make one of their balls, you know, intentionally give them ball in hand. There's nothing yeah, for them. Because, you know, when we started right after the pandemic, you know, they opened up Texas. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I ever saw Ruben Batista. Right, right, right. He came to the vault. He played mm -hmm. a tournament. And it freaked me out that we were playing eight ball. And instead of making something, he went straight for a safety. Right, right. He wanted yeah. you to decide what it was. Right. And that freaked me out. I'm like, I'd never seen that before. Yeah, because he's playing, um, he's playing the balls that are tied up. So just say, like, if you have two problem areas, like two balls tied up, solid, and then you have one stripe that's tied up, you're supposed to take stripes because you have one less problem to deal with. Solid has two problems, stripes has one, so you're supposed to go with stripes right. off the jump. So that's an extra inning that, you know, that you don't have to fade. Okay. But, uh. Yeah, there's it's a lot of strategy. I kind of play a little bit, not as aggressive. I like a let aggressive players try to get out. Okay, that puts Albert. Well, that's how that's how I beat uh, Ruben in the finals too when but we not, played that tournament maybe about a month ago. Yeah. Um, he's very aggressive, so I knew he was gonna try to run out. So when he didn't get out, I just was like repositioning balls and keeping it tight. Making them kick, making them jump, and just, yeah, you know, trying to fade it, you know. And, and when I got my opportunity to run out, I did. Yeah, the end of the month, it'll be nine ball in one pocket. Oh, nice. That's what I saw on the flyer. They're doing it again? Yeah, but instead of eight ball, oh, okay, it's okay. going to be nine ball. Oh, bad. But nice. I did see that uh, or hear that they were going to do one pocket again. Nice, nice. I uh, it's going to be on the end of the last weekend of the month. I had my chance in one pocket against them, too. I ended up getting second, but. He was just, like, not even playing one pocket, just, like, running out, making yeah. balls. I'm like, <laughs> have a ball in the hole, and you need five, and you get out from there? Like, yeah. how is that possible? Like, it's strong. Yeah, he, he played good. Yeah, Ru Ruben gets on one of those. It's like a gear turns on. And it's like, it's like he can't miss. And he'll pull off shots. Is like, okay, how in the hell did he do that? Yeah, he's a very, uh, uh, very good rhythm player. Hard to stop when he's when he's on a row. Hey, can y'all let me know if we can hear y'all can hear music in the background? They got a very loud song on right now. I just want to double check.
Yeah, because, you know, I bring up Ruben because I've seen some great matches between y'all two. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I've like, always played him pretty tight, um, very close. So. Yeah, and considering, you know, and this is where I got an issue with Fargo, right? Y'all play close together, but y'all's Fargos aren't close. It's weird because, like, I've, like, tortured people with, like, 700 plus, 720 yeah. Fargos. And I'm like, mine's like six something. And yeah, I'm yours like, is like six. How 80. am I giving people the aid or rather asking me for well, weight? And well, I I and don't know if this is actually what's happening. There is a Rudy Sanchez in Seguin. Yeah, he's like a, a senior. Yeah, but they didn't put it as senior in Fargo rate. Right? Uh, yeah, and, I know. And he's a five something. Yeah. I think they may be getting y'all because y'all, you know, because we're so close playing tournaments in both places, mm. if it's getting reported, y'all's might be overlapping. So do you have to put the last name to get credit for it? Yes. They have okay. to know who it is. But ah, because okay. there's, it's like, you know, we've got, you know, we got, uh, it's like, I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to start anything. We got a father and son in town. And I think the son playing this tournament is actually bringing the father's Fargo rate right down. Wow. And the other thing is a junior, you know. If wow. they don't put it, you right, see it because right. the, the father's cargo rate is coming down, wow. and he's a strong player. So, you know what's crazy? When I won the state championship, I was going to like my first race was like ten three, and I had a nine four race. Oh, another when, ten three race. When BCA first went to Fargo. Yeah, and yep. I ran. It was like a circus, and I ran the nuts, and my Fargo only jumped like fifteen points or something. I'm like, how am I? How did I win a state championship? It doesn't even go up. I was like a 656, and it went up to like 679 or something. Yeah. Like that. Well, it, the thing is, I think it comes down to the more established you are. The more matches you have or more games you have in the system, right, right. it doesn't fluctuate as much. Ah. Okay, oh. if you can hear it while we're talking, we're good. Because we're talking over the song. But thank you. Yep. Yeah, at least that's what I want recognize because I'm very low in Fargo in terms of actual mat games played. Mm -hmm. The last tournament I played, it got reported. I fluctuated big time. I dropped like 40 points mm -hmm. because wow. I hadn't played in a long time. You know, in, in a Fargo rated tournament. It's, oh. Albert got that one. Okay, so Albert's on the hill. Yeah, I've, I'm learning more and more because since I started doing this, I've been trying to focus on learning, okay, how's this affect that? Because Fargo rates become a big thing. And here it wasn't as big a thing, and it's starting to come in now. But it's not to the extent that, like, Dallas has it. I mean, everything's Fargo rate up there. Yeah. And that's one thing I like about it. We're still open here. Right, right. There's shorter races for most of the match, you know, tournaments, but they're still open. Right. You know, the bigger tournaments do report. I, um, well, I don't want to open a can of worms. But, yeah, don't do that. I'm trying, uh, I try to avoid that. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say it's accurate. It's semi accurate, right? I it's, mean, it depends on who everyone's playing. Every, every skill level, it's like APA, and people don't like to compare them, but it depends on where you are and who you play. Mm. And you, you know, it's more accurate if players travel. Uh, but if they don't travel, it. they're staying in one spot. Now, right, they, right. I've watched the videos and they counteract some of that. But I know 600 Fargos here that are, um, if they were somewhere else, they would be mid to high 600s. Just because of the caliber of the shot. I, I mean, I see them. I watch the streams. I watch. Like, like Houston has a lot of good players. So yes. Probably the fact that I'm in Texas. Is yeah, it depends. If, if you've got a strong city and you're playing the better players all the time, your, your level is actually going to be lower because you're not winning. So if right. you're consistently playing the better players. Got it. You know, if you're beating the better like players. Yes. It yes. In a sense. Exactly. So it, it, it's. It's like any other tool. It's only as good as what's being put into it. 
Wow. So. I know the. I went to defend my title and it was like. It was another goofy race. And I, both guys I played had to go to three and I was going to seven or eight. Yeah. And I got waxed three zero three zero. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's a great defense of my title, you know. <laughs> yep. COVID hit, I didn't go. They closed, shut it down. And then the yep. following year I went and I lost 3-0. I dry broke there right now. They broke and ran. Oh, nice. That's crazy. Uh, I'm pulling that breakout. Wow. 3-0. I think I played a 7 and dropped the side or the green aside. Or you can even make the 5 and play the 3 on the bottom right. You can even go into the 8 ball and give it a little bit more room if you want. Dana's the best player in his house. What does that mean? <laughs> Where he lives, it's there's not very many pool balls oh, okay. up there in Canada. So he has a table in his house. Is it really always cold in Canada? Like, no, it like, gets hot as hell up there. Really? Like, what does the slate play and the balls play different? Because I know when it gets cold down here, like the balls, like yeah, they don't react. Like they're cold. Like they're cold. Yeah, Dana. How does the uh, when y'all get really cold up there? How does the table play? Seems like the balls don't accept English as much. You got to hit the ball fuller to get more reaction. Yeah, because it don't get that cold down here. I mean, well, when it does get cold and ugly it down here, it wild. shuts down the city. Because I remember when they did the when Snowmageddon happened. We played the Invitational Jack and Jill here for the first Predator stop. And we left when it was frozen. Okay, so Albert got that one. 